Hello everybody! Welcome to Can I Beat Dark Souls Remastered with only the Warrior starting gear. This is going to be a fun challenge and here are the rules. All bosses must be completed. Only Warrior starting gear can be used. No glitches or exploits may be used in this video, and all rings and pine resin are allowed. And with that out of the way, let's get things started. The asylum is always going to be the same, like almost every time. Just get our weapons, go to Oscar after either dodging or getting hit by this iron ball, and getting our Estus flask from him. With that taken care of, let's take care of Asylum Demon. He's uh, not really a problem when you have a base weapon. I don't think he really can be unless you know you're just starting, but that's fine. It's a really quick and easy boss, not much had to be cut here. And yeah, with the last few hits out of the way, first boss of the run done. And on our way to Lordran. Maybe I can get an easier entrance into Lordran this time. I don't really don't want to get picked up by a bird again. Oh god damn it. Okay, into Lord Dran, it's time to get this shit started. Okay, it's item grabbing time. Time to get any loose souls I can find and pop it into whatever stat I needed. Currently, I really need just a little bit of vitality to make sure I don't get crushed by any little thing. I open this shortcut for later to get to Quaylag, and I make my way over to the Darkroot Depths, or the Darkroot Basin first. Then make my way to the Darkroot Depths, and into Undead Parish. This is currently my favorite way of going about going to Undead Parish. After using up all the soul items I had, instead of buying or getting more souls, I buy Titanite Shards to increase my weapon. This is currently a better option than just pumping all into the stat I need to use the weapon. After grabbing this shortcut, I make my way down to get some extra few souls to get some extra titanite I needed to finish off my weapon. Sadly, I'm not really good at fighting NPCs that block a whole lot. I even die, almost died to that blood loss. Like, why am I so bad at this? I've been playing Dark Souls for years. Anywho, going back to Undead Parish just to get that titanite. Ugh. Shit, okay, roll away, okay, roll away, roll away, roll away, okay. Gotta heal, gotta heal, and... Now that I've purchased the Titanite Shards acquired, now I can get my weapon to plus five, which is gonna be perfect for the early game bosses. Which is immediately what we go and fight next. First up, we make our way to Taurus Demon from running through on Deadburg. Not too bad. I wonder if I can make the swag jump here. Aha! Fuck! Okay, Taurus Demon, with a little bit of Lightning Pine Resin, I make quick work of this bull. Really easy. I think that's four hits? Yeah, that, yeah, that's four hits. Easiest towards demon fight of my life. Okay, kick down the ladder, make my way down. Now we have the shortcut. And now it's time to level a little bit into strength, just to see that DPS go up a little further. It's Gargoyle's time. And just to clear things up, I had Lightning Pine Resin, or Gold Pine Resin on during the beginning of this fight. Yet you don't see it when I actually fight the gargoyles. That's because I'm an idiot and I died the first time. But the second try, all in all, was pretty easy. I wonder how easy it would have went if I had that damn resin on. All in all, if you want to have an easier time with early game bosses, I very much recommend increasing your weapon in terms of upgrades, in term not your strength or dex. Get enough to use the weapon. But, lev but upgrade your weapon first. It works much better. And ends up doing you a lot better in the long run. And with that rambly mess of a tip, that's the second boss and the first bell rung. Gotta say, I love having an actual damn weapon.
It's about time I make my weapon stronger. And with that, I need to get the large ember, which I can only get after I fight Capra Demon. And plus, this is all bosses anyway. The Capra Demon fight? A little bit jank. A lot, a lot of times my sword was clanking against the wall, but all in all, the fight was not as bad as trying to figure out how to do miracles only. Because mainly, this is how people regularly play Dark Souls. But it's just like with the base game stuff. It's a whole lot of just drop, repeat, drop, attack, repeat, drop, attack, repeat. And, or you can just stick to them and hopefully not die. But yeah, the fight was really basic in terms of gameplay, but overall, quite fun. And with that, that's the third boss down, and more to come. Making myself less squishy, I decide to make my way down into the depths, so I can get myself that large ember so I can plus 10 my weapons. Hey, you're annoying me, guy. Can you leave me the fuck alone? <clears throat> Okay, now that that guy's taken care of, I got the large ember, which I'll give to Andre later. Next, I drop my way down through the hole in the back, deal with the rat, so he doesn't attack me on the way out. Wasn't too bad, just a quick drop attack and a couple hits. Next up, Gaping Dragon. Wow, this boss room's huge. I wonder what's in here. Shit. Oh, hi, little guy. How are you doing? What are you doing here? There's supposed to be a dragon here. What's going on with your legs? They look a little tooth toothy. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. That's a, that's nightmare right there. That's that, 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 that. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Somebody needs to kill this thing, and it's gonna be me. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh, 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 good Jesus. Okay, um, yeah, okay. This is nightmare time. <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, this boss isn't too bad. Just stick to the tail. Try to cut it off if you want the weapon. But try to make sure to deal with the channeler up top first. He could be a real pain in the ass. He could even buff the dragon, which happened earlier. But... All in all, boss, not too bad. Even though I died to the fucking channeler. So yeah, channeler's the main issue here. Deal with the channeler, boss is pretty much done. Okay, back at it again. Hitting the little brainy beats because that takes more damage. And back to the tail so I can possibly get that weapon I'm never gonna use. I honestly don't know why I'm exclusively going for it here even though I know I can't use it. Come on, give me that. And it didn't give me the weapon? What? No animation for having the weapon. That's weird. Either way, just a whole lot of hack and slash. Stick to the back legs. And this boss is super, super easy. And with that, boss number four completed. And the blight down key acquired. Now it's time to upgrade that sweet, sweet DPS before I move on to the next boss. Quaylag. I first have to make my way through Blighttown, through the back entrance. That key was absolutely useless to me. Okay, on to Quaylag's boss room. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this same bit every single time I see Quaylag, but yeah, I, I'm unsure if we can even keep this half of Quaylag in the video, but it's fine. I've seen people do it. We should be fine. Like and subscribe if we're fine. After that poor excuse of selling out, it's time for me to actually start talking about the boss. It wasn't too, too bad. Uh, my damage wasn't... Like, it wasn't amazing, but anything yellow damage to me is worth it. It's completely feasible if the damage coming off is yellow. And plus, Quaylag isn't even that hard to dodge anyway. Just stick to the front-ish sides, like the, like the sides, but stick more toward the front. And you should dodge most of the attacks Quaylag has. Just barely dodge most of her sword attacks. 
and a lot of the lava stuff you should be completely safe from. Just keep on swinging, keep on trucking, and you'll have Quaylag's bustle in the palm of your hand. And with that, Quaylag has been defeated, and the second ring has been belled. God, was that joke even worth making? I don't know, it was funny to me, and that's all that matters for me at least. Now that the McDonald's play place has been unlocked, I have to do some things first before going in there. Mainly farming large Titanite from these slugs. I need about 10 of them to increase my weapon to plus 10. And with the large ember given to Andre, I can now get my weapon to plus 10. Man was that hour of farming worth it. It's now time for the McDonald's play place. And sadly enough, I can't show much of it because there was no real issue. At least I can show you where the bonfire is. Now it's time to fight the you stay I go looking ass. If you get the reference, nice. Anyway, this fight is as stock as it could possibly be. Just swing at the legs and hope you don't- oh, okay, I got grabbed. Okay, shit, okay, alright. Now just stick to the legs, and- okay, okay, uh, two grabs, really, really, two grabs, really. Now just stick- oh, come on, for fuck's sake! Alright, round two, dipshit. Let's see how you like getting chopped. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Fall, please, please, come on, fall, just a little bit more, come on, fall, 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 fall off, fall off, come on, please, 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 please. Uh, okay, didn't fall off, time to just chop at ya. Just keep on going, maybe attack the dick a little. The boss is easy. Give him a good smack, and maybe enough, maybe you'll get lucky enough that he'll fall off and actually die the easy way. But for me, I had to do this the hard way. Well, harder. It's just not really that difficult. I just got unlucky with the grabs the first time. And with that, Iron Golem down. Now it's time to go to An Orlando. Wow, what's this ring doing here? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I sense something. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, no demons. Not the demons. My greed. My greed. No, let me go. Let me go. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Let me go. Let me go. You know, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I'm too high. If you let me go now, I'll die. No, 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 no. Just let me go, please. Well, actually, no, never mind. Don't let me go. I already said don't let me go. Oh my god, this is killer on the forearms. Okay, I'm in Anna Orlando, but first I have to go do some things. Like first I have to get the seal so I can access the Four Kings later. I decided to kill this guy because, you know what, I don't want to read a little bit of dialogue. There we go. Whoops, I forgot the Moonlight Butterfly. I have to go back and take care of that now. Luckily, now that I have a really strong weapon for an early game boss, I can one-cycle the boss. Thank god, I didn't want to have to deal with that much longer. And with that, I forgot how many bosses I beat. After giving Andre the very large ember, which I don't think I showed you I got, I can now, possibly, get my weapon to plus 15. But first, I need to make a quick pit stop to get myself a Titanite slab. You know what boss I'm going for. God, is this bird in my taxi service? Jesus. Now that I'm back at the asylum, I can make my way to fight Asylum Demon. Not gonna lie, little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, but it, you can sometimes get it stuck in a loop where it jumps up and down over and over again, where you get some meaty damage. 
If you notice, he's gonna stab his spear down, roll backwards if you catch it early, but if you catch it late, go around the back set of the legs. If you ever see him swinging forward, just try and go around the left or right legs. Never roll backwards. You'll never make it in time. So just rinse, repeat, until Stray Demon, I said Asylum Demon, didn't I? But either way, until Stray Demon is finally defeated. And with that, another boss down, and I got myself a Titanite Slab, so I can get my weapon to plus 15. Oh, and I don't forget the doll. Now it's time to fight Clifford the Rather Large Canine. Gotta say, love this boss fight, but for some reason my computer just can't handle it for some reason. Anytime I'm under Sif, the game just slows down. I really don't know why, like that looked like a fat roll. Half of this looks like it's slow mode. But yeah, Sif, pretty easy. But the lag, the sheer amount of lag I have to go through. Is this what I get for deciding to play on PC this time? I usually play on Xbox. Maybe I should go back. I don't know. With Sif, just keep toward, like, try and stay under Sif as much as possible during the fight in order to dodge most sword swings. And just try and make sure to hit the legs. It's easy fight. And with that, Sif is down. It's time to fight my favorite little freak, Pinwheel. I'm surprised I didn't fight him earlier, because I 100% could have done it for extra souls. But, I, I decided it would be best to keep him for later. On my way down for Nito, anyway. As most people should know, this boss is piss easy. Don't mind that first swing miss. But, for a boss you only really find late in the game, he is absurdly underpowered. Like, I couldn't even explain it that well, and it's already done. And with that, pinwheel's beaten, I suppose. Time to start getting ready for the DLC by killing the Hydra. I don't do anything else for the DLC here, I just wanted to kill the Hydra. Next, I grab a Titanite chunk, and I get my weapon to finally plus 15. Now to do Anne Orlando and the bosses that are contained in it. After Painting Guardian decided he wanted to test that there was fall damage, I make my way to go to the Painted World of Ariamas by moving this little doohickey. I say this is a beautiful painting. I wonder if the canvas is real. This thing is absolutely gargantuan. I don't think the painter would mind if I felt it a little, just to test its quality. Yeah, it feels like proper canvas to me. Oh, oh, no, 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 This is not Super Mario 64. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Ah. Now that I've been ba 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 into the painted world of Ariamis, I can now deal with Priscilla. Which was a pretty easy fight. Gotta say, I'm getting tired of saying all these fights are easy. All you gotta do is just go on where there's snow, and you can see her footsteps. That's how you can tell where she is. Aim for the tail if you want a dagger. I ended up getting it by accident on this run. Right here, actually. It's not the greatest, but if you want to use it, you can. Just keep on swinging, keep on trucking. Be careful of that blood loss. And Priscilla will finally go down. Note, if you don't want to kill this boss, it's optional. And with that, another boss done. I wonder, since this is a painting, is any of the pain I feel real? Let's jump off just to check, shall we? I think I made a mistake! Now that that's dealt with, I can make my way to Ornstein and Smo. Which oddly enough wasn't an issue now that I know the proper way of getting up here. Just dodge the arrows, hug right as much as possible, or hug to the left of the wall, but hug to the right side, and get close enough to where he brings out his sword. Parry his attack and stab him, you'll be able to get past in no time. Time for Skitty and Hefty. Let's see how this goes. 
This boss, no matter how good you are at Dark Souls, will always give you trouble. It's a gank fight. Everyone hates gank fights. But with enough maneuvering and getting hit and with enough heals, I was finally able to take out Smo. Eventually. Just gotta give it a sec. A little bit more. There you go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Come on, Smo. Ornstein, piss off. Come on, Smo. There it is. Time to fight Super Ornstein. And now that it's just Ornstein in his super form, he's actually quite easy to deal with. Just stick to his legs and when he jumps, roll back. Not much else to say, just don't get hit by the grab attack, that does a shit ton of damage, and don't get caught on the geometry either. After some sweet dodge rolling, like right here, and right here, Super Ornstein was a cinch. And with that, Ornstein and Smo have been defeated, and we now have access to the Lord Vessel. Thank God. Time to die. Can you blame me? I didn't want to go down to the catacombs again to get the Dark Moon Seance Ring. What are you, nuts? It is now time to unalive the Femboy. Man, that's funny just saying that. Either way, the boss isn't too hard. Just gotta run down the hallway, dodge the attacks, and you do it. If, if you do it right, you don't fuck it up, it just works. Simple as that. Just run through. If you notice he's doing a big blast attack, you can just roll right through that. And try to make sure you get him on at least once on every run up. Or else it'll make the fight a whole lot longer. God, I'm good at this game. And I missed. Fuck. Don't mind, don't mind that. Either way, just keep going. Keep swinging. Keep dodging. And this boss becomes chump change. Bam. Another boss completed. And now the Lord Vessel has been placed, and then we can now get to the end game. After dealing with incessant expulsion. That's just a fancy way of saying ceaseless discharge. And bam! That's another boss defeated. And now it's time to fight Stray Demon Mark II, now on fire. And weak to fire. Sadly, I can't use fire. But anyway. Just basically do the same strat you used for Stray Demon before, and it should be perfectly fine. But, uh, he is slightly more aggressive, so you may have to get a little bit used to that. But all in all, this fight was pretty damn easy once you got used to it. A little bit of slash in the thickums. And now, another boss beaten, and now it's time for Centipede Demon. Ah yes, Centipede Demon. The boss that makes it absurdly difficult for me to attack it. But my damage was really great, so... Not really a, that big of an issue. I tried to cut off the hand early so I can get the ring, but I didn't have any luck. Bam, 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 bam. One more jump up, bam, bam. Done. Centipede Demon done. Easy boss, easy game. Ah, bed of chaos. Time to quickly just show my routing. Run right, go around that route, and keep going right. This one should be easy. Don't mind the slap. Just keep going. Roll through or attack your way through and hit the side. Bam. Now I would usually quit out here. Make sure everything's destroyed, run left. Don't get slapped a lot like I did. And then run over. Don't forget, that can break, so run. Then roll through and hit the left side. Next is the middle. Which I didn't have too much luck doing, because I kept getting hit. 
But all you have to do is sweep the middle, bait the hands, and then roll towards the center. It should be foolproof. There you go. Just roll on through and hit the little maggot in the middle. And that's Bed of Chaos completed. Easy as that. Next up, it's Gravelord Nito. And god, his fight was Nito, I must say. Yeah, 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 I'm not, not funny. But either way, this fight was pretty good. Pretty challenging. Uh, my damage wasn't overly good, so it wasn't a cakewalk. The skeletons gave me some issues, I got slapped around a bit. The, the miasma scared my ass a lot. Either way, it was a very, 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 very good fight. I use very too much, but either way, it was a pretty decent fight. I couldn't really damage him through a cloak, sadly. But, just keep on swinging, be careful of his little lackeys, and you'll be perfectly fine. And with that, Nito was put to rest. Time for the next Lord Souls. Next up, it's Four Kings. What the fuck? Either way, uh, don't mind that. Either way. On, on to the Four Kings. This fight was pretty easy since I was able to beat the DPS check. I was able to kill one king way before another spawned. So I had to cut out a lot, well no, Curtis had to cut out a lot of the footage for this fight because it was a whole lot of waiting and spinning. But with that, another Lord Soul beat. And it's time for Seath. Man, that view is lovely. Walking in on Seath's boss room is always a sight to behold. Oh look, here he comes. Now let's see how well we can do against this boss. Bam, boom, bam, bam, boom, bam. Done. Seath is done. God, that was an easy fight. Well, what's this strange portal doing here? Let me touch it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, no, 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 let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No, 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 no. Not again, not again, not again. Okay, now it's time for Sanctuary Guardian. POV, you are a toddler versus the pit bull that just got out. This fight is easy though. Imagine the toddler is absolutely yoked. Like steroids, testosterone, out the wazoo. Now it's time for everybody's favorite edgelord, Artorius. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of issues here with him absolutely pancaking me. But... Uh, with enough time, I managed to whittle him down, and I managed to heal up a decent bit too. Found decent spots to where I could heal without getting absolutely punished for it. But all in all, this fight was the most challenging of the run thus far. I even managed to hit him out of his buffing phase, which is what you should do when you fight Artorias. This fight really came in handy though, because it let me download Artorias. So I was able to beat him for the upcoming bow-only run that won the poll. Look for next week for that video. Either way, just to end things off with Artorias, I'm just gonna say that it's he's one of the most hype DLC characters for any Soulsborne game. 
and every fight with Artorius is a joy to me. And with that, Artorius is defeated. And a bow is due. But a bow is not due to this fucker. Manus took me three hours to beat, and it was midnight when I started. I didn't go to bed till 3 a.m. because of this dipshit. I'm so glad I was able to beat him before, you know, morning, and I was actually able to get some sleep. Manus's five hit combo, or however long it is, is so damn annoying. His hand stretches way too far, and you have no sense of hope when it comes to healing. If you don't have the silver pendant, you might as well just, like, say goodbye. And then again, if you forget to switch on your pendant, you just die anyway. So, this fight is a beyond bullshit, and... I hope I never have any issues with this boss again after the hell that I've been through. But I just know he's gonna do it again. Next up is the Big Bad Dragon Calamite, which wasn't really too bad. My damage wasn't great, but you know, it's a base longsword. With not base, but it was it's just the base longsword plus 15, so it's not the greatest weapon of all. But all in all, just staying under Calamite and knowing when to roll out of the way when he's dashing forward. It makes the boss absurdly readable and easy. I said readable, not breedable, you freaks. Anyway, if you really want a cool weapon, you can go for Calamite's tail. But with how high up it is, the chances of you hitting it are slim unless you have like an ultra great sword. Perhaps the Zweihander would work. And with these final swings, that's the last DLC boss, and it's time to fight Gwyn. Oh, Gwyn, 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 Lord of Cinder, you have met your match. I am Charles, Lord of Parries, and it's time for you to get stabbed. Over? And over, and over again. Gwyn, if you can parry him, he is an absolute cakewalk. If you have access to a shield, this boss becomes piss easy, and a joke of a final boss. But if you don't have a shield, he's actually really fucking difficult. Quick tip, if you're trying to parry, after you hit him, use an Estus Flask, because it'll have a higher chance of making him use his slow swing which is easier to parry. And with that final stab, that was Dark Souls 1 Remastered with only the warrior starting gear. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want us to continue making Dark Souls content, or even other Dark Souls games, Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment whatever you'd like. It really helps us a lot, and it would mean a lot to us. Thanks for watching. See you next week.